This presentation includes forward-looking statements that are subject to risks and uncertainties. Actual results may differ materially as a result of various risk factors, including those described in the 10Ks, 10Qs, and 8Ks VMware files with the SEC. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome VMware's Chief Executive Officer, Mr. Pat Gelsinger. It is a pleasure to be with you today and to uh, open up what are some very exciting product announcements uh, today. So thank you for joining us. In today's environment, we clearly see a world where customers are looking for partners and technologies that help them solve this fundamental dilemma. You know, fundamentally, the vast majority of their IT resources are part of the past part of the client server era, and they need technologies that transform those, but they also need technologies that create tomorrow as well, that build assets for the mobile cloud era. And they need to be connected together. They need to work across those boundaries because I can't have my new systems of engagement not connected to my current systems of record. Right? And we need to have a bridge across those two worlds. Fundamentally, the technologies that we offer and VMware as a company is uniquely positioned to be the company that helps our customers be a bridge across those two worlds. For VMware, we built our heritage, why we became famous, why we became so important to IT in transforming data centers, first in server virtualization. Right, and this magic layer of software that VMware did in virtualization that truly enabled servers to become something that is dynamic, scalable, and software-driven. And we've extended that to the entire software-driven data center, transforming and building private clouds. But increasingly, customers are looking to the future of an expanding set of IT resources and saying, how can I transform my business taking advantage of that broadening set of capability, of different public cloud resources, of different SaaS offerings, of a broadening set of capabilities as they look. And this expansive IT for the mobile cloud world still meet, needs to meet the requirements of management, of security, of compliance. And our heritage provides a foundational position for us to be a technology partner and provider for IT as they deliver against the mobile cloud air requirements while still meeting those governance, security, compliance, management. And that's the role of VMware Future, of enabling that expansive set of resources for tomorrow. The cloud has come a long way in the last couple of years, but still it is very, very early and its capabilities. And we really have an environment where we could take advantage of public cloud resources, but there are enormous gaps to what's enabled against today's requirements for existing systems. And thus this picture of the cloud that we've built to date, where you know, we're barely able to connect these two worlds together. And fundamentally, this is the challenge that sits in front of us. And we've seen this movie before. Right, if we think about the first discussions on intranet versus extranet, and it was this huge gap between what I could do when I was inside of my network versus what I needed to do when I was outside of my network. And fundamentally, that world evolved to simply be a connected set of capabilities, the seamless set of network uh, resources. Similarly, as we think about this today in the cloud world, you know, it looks like these two things are just enormous gulfs between them. Right, where I'm able to operate and service certain capabilities on-premise, but I have to make enormous trade-offs off-premise, and vice versa. Certain things that the public cloud is able to do that my existing environments are unable to provide in terms of dynamic and scalability. So how can I bring those together into a single set of resources, the hybrid cloud? And again, this is the future state of what we need to build as we see this movie played out yet again. Against that picture, VMware lays out a single architectural view of how that world should look. It's built on the foundation of the software-defined data center, a common set of technologies to virtualize compute, but also networking and storage, and deliver that through a plane of management or automation. And in the cloud world, the simple rule is automate ruthlessly every aspect of operations. 
And that software-defined data center enables a transformation of hardware. And as you'll hear more about today, we allow the world to go from build your own to converge to hyper-converged infrastructure, where truly there is a massive operational and cost savings that emerges from the underlying hardware elements of the data center. But that software-defined data center isn't just what's done on-premise, it's also enabling this unified hybrid cloud. It's the private cloud, it's a set of managed clouds. It's also the public cloud and these broadening set of capabilities against a common management and networking architecture. But in today's world, customers are looking for today's applications, but also tomorrow's applications as well. And this infrastructure has to be enabling customers to have a one, any application view. They're today's systems as well as tomorrow's systems. They're applications that enable all of how they run their business today, but also the digital transformation of tomorrow, any application. And of course, it's any device. And with our announcements just yesterday about uh, our Workspace ONE announcement, clearly broadening the set of devices and capabilities that we're able to deliver against a broadening set of demands from our customers. So one cloud, any application, any device, a common architectural view across all of those elements. But of course, with built-in or intrinsic security, and for this world, as we're seeing increasingly, you know, the security challenges become more and more critical as this interconnected world becomes a broader and broader set of resources. And thus, a architected view of security, one where security is simply architected into every layer level and able to embrace maybe the most rapid set of security innovations ever, but doing so in an architected framework. And this to us is a fundamental differentiator of what the software-driven world will look like for the future. So in summary, one cloud, any application, any device. And against this, enabling our customers to run their infrastructure and applications to manage those applications wherever they might be residing, to be able to connect them across these environments and fundamentally built on an environment that is architected in with security. And for that picture, VMware is excited about today's announcements as they continue to fill out that portfolio of uh, capabilities, a set of capabilities that uniquely enables our customers to run, manage, connect, and secure the environment of today and build the environment of tomorrow. It's my pleasure now to introduce Raghu Raghuram, and he'll take us through the next level of details against this. And Raghu, for us, runs our software-defined data center uh, businesses, and uh, out of his group is many of the announcements that you're seeing today. Raghu? Thanks, Matt. It's exciting to launch um, products across our portfolio today. And uh, let me start by uh, showing this picture again that Pat showed a few minutes ago. We are setting out to build the integrated architecture for IT, one that enables our customers to run any application, traditional or a cloud native application, on any cloud, on their private clouds, on managed clouds and uh, public clouds, and deliver the application across a variety of uh, devices. As our customers undertake their digital transformation, they are increasingly deploying their applications across all of these cloud infrastructures. Clearly, a majority of their applications live on the private cloud. At the same time, they're building out their application portfolio on other clouds as well. Now, each of these clouds has a distinctly different set of technologies, dif distinctly different set of operational models, and operational skills that are required to ensure security and compliance. In many ways, we've got these new silos of clouds, much like the data center had these silos of Unix and Windows and Linux pre-virtualization. Just as virtualization technologies from VMware 
he unified the operational model for all applications in the data center. We are setting out to build a stack of software that unifies how customers deploy, manage, run, manage, connect, and secure their applications across all of these environments. And that endeavor starts with the private cloud. The private cloud is where customers have got 80% or plus of their applications today. And by all accounts, it is too complex. So job number one is to dramatically simplify the construction of the private cloud. Over the last couple of years, hyperconverged infrastructures have emerged as the key mechanism to effect a dramatic simplification in the data center. By taking storage and networking and compute and turning them into software services in an integrated stack running on industry standard x86 hardware, you can achieve a level of simplification and standardization that is orders of magnitude better than current private cloud architectures. As a result, the hyperconverged software stack has become the foundation for the modern day data center. The hyperconverged software stack from VMware is, of course, starts with vSphere, our market leading hypervisor, and includes virtual and virtual center server for management. But the storage foundation is virtual SAN. Over the last couple of years since its um, release into the marketplace, virtual SAN and the hyperconverged software stack has proven to be tremendously popular with our customers, solving a variety of problems. Today, we have over 3,000 customers on our hyperconverged software stack, making it the most widely deployed hyperconverged software solution in the industry. Today, we are excited to announce the next generation of our hyperconverged software solution with the launch of uh, Virtual SAN 6.2. Virtual SAN 6.2 is a fundamental breakthrough in the following way. Traditionally, if you're selecting storage, you have to make a hard choice. You could choose very high performance, high IOPS technology, or you could choose very simple and cost-effective hyperconverged technology. And this was the choice that you always had to grapple with as a data center architect or an administrator. For the first time in the industry, we are able to bring these two together in Virtual SAN 6.2. The reason we are able to bring these two together is Virtual SAN 6.2 features new breakthrough storage efficiency technologies that provide up to 10x more usable storage capacity compared to its predecessor releases, and retains the groundbreaking performance of the hyperconverged technology integrated with the hypervisor. So as a result, you can get up to 100,000 IOPS a node, and stretching across 64 nodes, scaling linearly. At the same time, because of the tremendous space-saving innovations in Virtual SAN 6.2, the cost of storage can be as low as a dollar a gig. This is a magic combination, storage at a dollar a gig, 100,000 IOPS. And that's what Virtual SAN 6.2 brings to the table. <laughs> Unlike other HCI solutions in the marketplace, we combine this simplicity and performance and cost with the broadest range of deployment options in the marketplace. You can take the hyperconvert software stack and combine it with a variety of tested and certified virtual SAN ready nodes, factory installed from the widest array of VMware partners across the globe. Secondly, you can get this month, uh, engineered appliance that provides the ultimate simplicity combining the performance and cost effectiveness from the EMC Federation with the EMC Federation HCI appliance. Thirdly, as we announced at uh, the VMworld last year, we are in limited availability 
with an end-to-end -end software defined data center stack that is built on top of this hyperconverged software foundation and adds NSX, the network virtualization platform, and we realize our cloud management and automation platform to provide a fully automated private cloud that has the compelling economics and performance and the ability to handle not just today's applications, but tomorrow's applications. So in summary, we are very excited about VirtualSAN 6.2. But today's announcement does not stop at VirtualSAN 6.2. I just talked about our automation strategy with vRealize. Over the last couple of years, industry analysts have <coughs> recognized vRealize automation in the vRealize suite to be the market leader in deployed market share for cloud management platforms. And analysts have declared it to be the most comprehensive solution in the marketplace. So let's take a quick review of this. VRealize, automation, VRealize uh, suite is meant to be a cross-cloud management suite. So it works not only on your VMware-based STDC infrastructure, it works across other hypervisors. And as you will see with this new release, we are able to extend it across clouds as well. As a result, you can take an application and be able to deploy it and manage it through its lifecycle in a consistent manner, regardless of whichever infrastructure you want to run it on. A few minutes ago, I said this is the most comprehensive cloud management platform in the industry. And it consists of four major components. We realize automation is the technology that allows for customers and developers to be able to create applications and then automatically deploy and manage them through the lifecycle of the application. We realize business enables IT architects and administrators to get a real-time view of how much that application costs to run on these various clouds that uh, they might choose to use. We realize operations and log insight provide for day two operations and health and performance management of both the application and the underlying infrastructure. We are excited to announce the next generation of these vRealize technologies with vRealize Suite 7. vRealize Suite 7 consists of vRealize Automation 7, and vRealize Automation 7 brings some exciting new cap capabilities with respect to application blueprinting into the marketplace. Now, you can create a unified application blueprint, and it can encode not only the application deployment capabilities, but also the automation required for setting up the network and security and storage policies required for that application to run effectively. And it can be deployed on top of your private cloud, as well as public clouds like Amazon Web Services. vRealize Business complements vRealize Automation by providing costing and financial management information. And then we realize operations of we realize log insight allow for operational management of these applications across clouds. The third component of our strategy to enable customers to build and run and manage and secure their applications across all clouds is NSX, our network virtualization platform. We recently announced that NSX has now more than 1,000 customers and is one of the most rapidly deployed infrastructure technologies in the industry. NSX has turned out to be a very powerful solution to automate network services in the data center and deliver application security through micro-segmentation. But our vision for NSX does not stop at the data center. Last month, we announced that this year we'll be extending NSX to connect and secure applications and enforce network and security policy, not only in the data center, but also across AWS and Azure. And in collaboration with our AirWatch and end-user computing technologies, we are able to extend overlay networking all the way down to the device endpoint as well. 
Now, given that all of these devices and applications run on different clouds and different technologies, there is no single physical network infrastructure that can connect all of these. The only way you can enforce network security and network policy is through the magic of overlay networking. And NSX is the leading network virtualization technology that enables customers to enforce networking security and policies wherever the application and their endpoints might reside. This is a powerful vision, and we are just getting started on executing this vision. So in summary, VMware innovation continues unabated to realize this promise of any application on any cloud delivered to any device. And this allows us to be a partner with our customers in accelerating their digital transformation. We are very excited in particular today to announce the groundbreaking new hyperconverged software platform with Virtual SAN 6.2 and our multi-cloud management platform with VRealize Suite 7. Thank you very much.